G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of Explore Tips. I brought along my uh, usual expert, Anthony from Drover. How are you, mate? Yeah, good, mate. So look, basically this time, uh, we're gonna talk to you about your battery management system within your vehicle. Now, in my truck, I'm running the Manager 30 by Red Arc. Now, when I went to set out my truck, um, previously, I've basically had nice, simple setups. So I had an isolator, a secondary battery, yep. and for this truck, I'm doing a lot more touring, a lot more time on the road. I needed more um, battery power, and I needed to be able to see exactly how much battery power I've got coming in, how much is going out, how long can I sit in that campsite without the batteries going flat. So I went down and sat to Anthony, and basically, um, there was a multiple of different products I could have installed in the truck, and he told me about the Manager 30. So it's six products essentially all in one package. What do we got? Okay, so in the Manager 30, you've got a 30 amp mains power battery charger. That's your first one. All right, so layman's terms, when I get home from a camping trip, or more importantly, before I leave for a camping trip, the night before, I run out my extension lead, plug it into the truck, and the 240 mains powers it all the way up to 100% before I leave. So that's yep. one. Yep, uh, second feature you've got is a DC to DC charger. So um, yeah, that's your, your, your basically your battery charging from your, your main alternator source, I guess. Perfect, so from the front of the truck, uh, alternator kicks in, charges your secondary batteries. That's uh, number two. Yeah, um, thirdly, you've got a uh, solar regulator built in as well. Cool, so the solar reg, uh, I don't at the moment, but I am installing a solar panel on the roof of the truck. So this means when I pull up at the campsite, um, instead of having to pull a solar panel out and, and plug it in with alligator clips or whatever it might be, this automatically runs uh, the solar from the roof straight into this system. No um, solar regulator needed really, is there? This no. does it all. Yep, yep, yep. So, so nice and simple. As soon as I pull up to camp, this takes care of the rest and I've got the solar coming in to trickle charge the battery. Correct, yep. Um, and yeah, and built into that feature, I guess, is also a isolator. So something else you don't need to have because it does that as well. So it'll isolate your batteries from yeah, front to rear. Perfect. Yep. Um, and another feature it's got, I guess, obviously, is you know, you've got a full battery monitoring system there. So you've got all your volts and amps and everything. So I guess you'd be using that to work out what's going on. Yep. So that's probably my favorite part about this whole product is it's got this uh, display unit. Now I've, ma I've mounted that up in my roof console, so it's literally above my head. Essentially, I look up and I can see what percentage I've got um, of battery power left. It tells me how much power is coming in, how much power I'm using, and that is basically all I, as a, as a layman and don't understand technology, like the electric side, that's basically all I need to know, is how much percentage I've got left, how long can I sit at that exact campsite, or is there a particular product that's like chewing all my power, um, it just gives you an all-in-one look, snapshot, I guess, of where you're at with your uh, power in the truck. Yeah, exactly. And you can also you know, work out how well everything's performing. So is your solar working well? Do you need to shift your panel? All that sort of stuff. So yep. yeah, yep, no. Perfect. Number six, I guess, the last feature. Uh, yes, it also has a, a load disconnect feature, which we don't run on your truck, I guess, because you already have uh, low voltage cutouts on your fridges, but um, there is other brands of fridges out there that don't have um, that on there. So you, you can set it so it will actually disconnect the loads and save your batteries um, if you were you know, not getting enough charge coming in yep. uh, and won't destroy your batteries. It'll cut it out before that So happens. that's something you just program into the unit itself that uh, when it's wired and programmed yeah okay yep. easy so there you go you've basically got six uh different products all built into the one unit it's neat it's clean i guess the other thing we should talk about is install time yep if you were to install this product over trying to put six different products in, how much less wiring and time's involved. Yeah, look, absolutely. So um, I guess obviously you're saving a lot of wiring just by the fact that most of it's all inside this box. Yep. So uh, pretty much bring all your supplies into this and uh, you know, out to your battery and that's, that's about it really. So yeah, really, really simple to wire in comparison to what you would have to try and achieve with six different products. So obviously this is a more, this is a, this is a relatively expensive product compared to your standard standard isolated dual battery setup, but I mean, you're, you're losing a lot of cost in labor to install one product instead of six. 
Yeah, I, I guess it really, essentially, if you looked at it and you had to buy all those other products together, it wouldn't even be that much more expensive. So, yeah, I, I think as an all-in-one solution and, and bang for buck, it's really good value. Perfect. So, me having the 76, I don't have a lot of room. Everything, every little nook and cranny is taken up <laughs> with, like, a specific spot for a product. So, the fact that I can have this all neatly done, in, tucked in one corner of the truck without wiring going everywhere, it's less... Uh, I guess problems as well, having yep. everything built in, there's less chances of wires breaking or getting damaged. Um, all nice and neat. And once again, the key feature for me is being able to look above my head and really just see exactly what's going on. Yeah, absolutely. And the one other, I guess, for an installation point of view is too, that monitor can be installed anywhere in your truck because yep. it comes with a really long lead. You can also extend that as well. So yeah, you can have that right where you want it. So, yep. so yeah. product, I mean, build specific, you can put it, you might put it at the back of your truck so when you're uh, there at night, you can see that it's set up. I guess another very important thing to mention is uh, this isn't just for full drive installs. So no. Lane has got these units installed uh, in some of his camper trailers, um, I guess before they brought out the new Red Vision, but yep. this is another option for your camper trailers. It allows you to have all, once again, everything we spoke about and you can uh, track it on your trailer. So yep, yep. full drives, trailers, caravans, yep. where else would you stick one? Uh, mate, anything that's got a battery in it that's uh, auxiliary battery, I guess, where you, you need multiple charge sources yep. and, uh, yeah, and, and want complete battery, I guess, um, monitoring. So this is, that's where it really shines. All right, well, there you go. Basically, if you're looking at taking your vehicle or camping setup to the next level, um, I'd highly recommend checking out the Manager 30. It really does take away uh, all the hassle. You know when you're out there, how long you can sit for without your fridge uh, going hot and your beers going warm, which is, which is very important. No one wants that. So Manager 30, check it out. Thanks again for coming all along right. and uh, no doing the more technical side for us. All good, mate. No worries. Cheers, guys.